In the year 1997, the future is in chaos and turmoil. Mankind is on the brink of extinction. Brave survivors band together and build a time displacement apparatus to receive a signal from a parallel future. This transmission is the Boondocast. The official podcast of Vundablog.com, the home of whatever. The podcast that wakes up in the morning, goes to Dunkin' Donuts twice, and is like, motherfucker, let's watch Friday the 13th, part 7, The New Blood. This episode is already in progress. I am your host, Steven, and with me, as always... The lovely queen of Twitter herself. Yeah. At Cardigan Vixen. Yep. Our lord and commander. Mm-hmm. How you doing? I'm cool. What's crack a lacking in the world of Danielle? Oh, you know, simmo, simmo. Simmo, simmo? No. We're... We don't want to go into... To, we're going to keep, keep this pure. So keep we it pure, were, right? I've been... Uh, so the impetus of this was on the James Bonding podcast. Mm-hmm. They had a trailer for a podcast that's exclusive to Stitcher that is just about the Friday the 13th movies. Mm-hmm. That is called uh, In Jason, In Voorhees We Trust with Gourley and Rust. And the way they talked about the Friday the 13th films got me so excited to watch Friday the 13th Part 7 the New Blood, which was apparently the first time that they had wanted to do a Freddy versus Jason type thing, but Freddy was too popular and off the table in the 80s. Oh, that's what this was about? That's what they wanted. Oh. But since they couldn't do that, Mm -hmm. they were like, oh, let's just rip off Carrie and then we don't have to pay anybody anything. And it'll make sense, Mm because it's like a girl, and Jason already, like, kills young girls anyway. (laughs) So now... We are watching for the first time. I've never seen this movie before. Have you seen this movie before? I have never. It's no. beautiful. So we're watching Friday the 13th Part 7. We're, we were watching the beginning. How many minutes in are we doing? Like 10, I think. 10, 8, you're... Oh, I'm so sorry. I could scientifically tell you how many fucking minutes we're in. You're the DJ here. We are the Oh no, did I break the Amazon? Did you DJ it? I guess you're right. You zero. So we're at the Crystal Lake. Oh, we're seven minutes in. We're seven minutes and forty four seconds in. Okay, we're at the we're in the Crystal Lake sign, as the car's driving by. You get to watch those first seven minutes and forty four seven. Yeah, you fucking do. Seconds by yourself, before you connect with us. You need to have that experience on your own. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna come in with all that emotional trauma. All right, together. I should never have told Stephen I want to record a reaction to this because now I have to pay it full attention. I was paying half attention before. You got so excited, though, with the drama at the beginning. I did. Okay, You're just so annoyed by this. me right now. No, of course I'm not annoyed by you. I mm-hmm. love you. So it's a rainy morning in Miami. You're the best. What else would you do other than watch other Friday than the 13th? Other than watch Friday the 13th, of course. Part and seven, obviously said, September 1st happened on Saturday, and as we know, it's Halloween. That's right. Fuck, fuck September. Fuck Labor Day. It's We're Halloween jumping time. it. That's it. Boom. And, you know, Stephen Halloween and I, I guess as a, as a quick update, Stephen and I are kind of, and this is a perfect time to talk oh, about we're here with horror the with horror. Midnight Hounds. Yeah, we're here with the At Midnight Hounds. And Rusty Jim we Gina, got some very Marty unfortunate Halsey. news um, recently that um, Morty and Rusty have heartworm. And we, it was something that they did not catch the first round of testing they had their first annual exam 
a year ago. We've had them for a full year. Apparently, Danny rescued they them. missed. They it was it can be missed in the test depending on what stage the worm's at or whatever the fuck. Anyway, so unfortunately, Morty and Rusty, even though we've had them on preventative, um, diligently like good pet parents that we are, they have heartworm, and starting at the end of September, basically we have to go through a very intensive treatment with them and keep them very quiet so steven and i are not going to really have a big fun halloween and um i will say this you know steven and i are going to try to take care of this ourselves we have pet insurance but i think we might talk about setting up maybe a coffee account if anybody out there listening wants to give us a couple dollars because this really is going to be kind of expensive steven and i never asked for anything we keep talking about Patreons and blah blah blah, but yeah, yeah, yeah. we're but, pretty we're pretty self sufficient. We like until, to take care of ourselves. Yeah, but I don't but, feel, I don't feel that's warranted until we're yeah ready but, to make a dedicated concerted effort to towards keep, yeah exactly producing content. Right now, yeah. our content is like yo, this here. is yeah here. Free blop. Yeah, exactly. Enjoy, please. See, we, are the, we take a pretty lax attitude. We we produce content and we do work at it, but obviously, you know, we haven't been like we're gonna make people pay us or we're gonna not make. We're gonna ask people to pay us, and we're gonna be like gung ho. But a coffee account is just kind of something that's kind of like a tip jar. So I think we'll look into setting one of those up. So if you want to help us out, help Morty and Rusty out, give them a few dollars, help us kind of defray. Some of the cost of that, I would really appreciate it because, yeah. yeah, I mean, hopefully the insurance will pay us, but they're not going to pay us for everything. And there you know what? If you, if you, eat. and when we set that up, if you yeah. maybe give us something in your coffee, maybe Rusty, you know, we take off his collar, we send you some nudes of Rusty, you know what I mean? <laughs> what the f- Yeah. Rusty didn't consent to that. No, I take off his collar. He's cool with it. Yeah. But yeah, no. Um, so look, look unto that. If you are a fan of us, or you're a fan of our dogs, you don't have to be a fan of us. If you love our dogs, then if you want to just drop us a few dollars, that would be really, really pretty awesome. So, but anyway, on to in the spirit Friday the thirteenth because Rusty and Morty are the new blood. Yes. Of this podcast, yeah, of course, and they've provided so much joy and love. In the spirit. And now we're going to see the new blood that affected one Mr. <laughs> Jason Voorhees. Mm-hmm. I'm ready. We're excited. <laughs> Hee haw, Halloween. <laughs> okay. Oh my god. How many of these actors have you ever seen in anything else, by the way? Let's just ask that question. Oh, there's famous actors in Jason movies. Yeah, but not in this movie. Well, this is the seventh one. Oh, shit. And this is when the franchise was like. You know, not as quite as popular. Bad news cruise. Bad news cruise. The other thing though is that they were pumping out Friday the Thirteenth movies like I one a year. No, no, I really like it up here. It's I beautiful. love this um generic eighties soundtrack. Yeah. Very nice My dad's Hi. hanging Hi. out at our house. Hi. So what? This is her old house. You can always tell movies that like. Have a really lower, a oh, lower snap, budget. Oh, those shorts. There goes the neighborhood. What the hell does that mean? Does she know this person? Huh? It's just a boy in really high shorts. Yeah. There goes the neighborhood. No, she just said there goes the neighborhood for no reason at all. Like unless she knows this girl. She's a hussy. Oh my god, her hair. It's amazing. Oh my god. The helmet she of looks, hairspray. She looks like that uh, in <laughs> He-Man, the Masters of the Universe movie. Yeah. That one, like, bad guy monster's hair. She looks exactly <laughs> like that. It's amazing. She's got so much hairspray in that head. I feel so bad for her. So much hairspray. I would love to see the headshot that got this movie now. It was the same hair. <laughs> and they were like, don't change oh, a fucking thing. Yeah. Yeah. Look at how they're oogling him. Are they oogling her? Are they oogling her? Yeah, they're oogling her, I think. I don't know. Let's go. Some nice panties. Oh, shit. Sorry. She had those, like, tiny whiteies. I just stared at your panties. Damn, girl. Sassy ass. The fucking psychokinetic witch. Time for the shit. Great asshole? Yeah, because he touched your panties. So he's an asshole? Yes. Sit down, please. It's the weird delivery. 
her hair is so hairific. I don't know what's going on with this frizz. Okay, so the concept of this film. Why are you explaining? Don't explain. No, just let it unfold in front of people. Yeah, don't explain the concept. I think you're seeing things. Don't explain the concept to me. I have never seen it. I want to. I want to understand the concept myself. So, our first viewing, guys. Really Commentary track. The camera. Just want to keep track of our progress, alright? Well, he looks like a pervert. He's a creepy psychologist. So that could work. Alright. Mm -hmm. Subtitles. No, pause, put on your subtitles, people. Sync up with us. This is a subtitle sample. Okay, I don't need a sample. Just you, you messed up everyone syncing into the film. Now. Not the commentary. Track. I'm so sorry. Okay, it's guys. It's not alright. We're paused when he's done. We are at 1042. I'm going to set it on the desk here. So I'm pausing it now. Get to 1044. Resync up with us. Resync up. <laughs> You're obviously paying you very hard that attention. to take a pee. I know. Yep. I felt your bladder. Boom. Okay, here we go. I want you to concentrate. I want you to think about your feelings and just focus them in on the magical. Oh, shit. He's it's trying to develop her psychokinetic fucking powers. Yeah, he's a therapist. Oh, shit. No, he's trying to develop her fucking powers. He's yeah. like Professor X. Holy so shit. they're just jumping right in with this bitch has psycho connection. Yeah, powers. they're not even gonna like pretend like she's a human. We're like, no, no, no. no. More scenes with her powers. This is Jason they're 7. They're just kind of like, we have to get to Jason, so we need to speed this up. This is Jason 7. People don't have time to wait for her life. <laughs> You're not trying, Tina. Think about it moving and make it move. Oh, yes, yeah, so simple. Thank you. Thank you for mansplaining us. <laughs> to us <laughs> this is mansplaining this movement. I, can't. I told you, I don't know. Exactly. Is he gonna like beat her? What's going on? Oh, Tina. Oh shit! Stop motion animation. We'll make this shit work. Tina, just masturbate, and when you orgasm, you will make everything explode. Oh, um, what did you do? What went through your mind? How much I want to punch you? you. I don't know how this is gonna help me. Psychokinetic ability is a projection of the suppressed guilt feelings that you have. What? Speak English? You're more just in this telekinetic stuff than you are in me. That is not true, Tina. The only reason that I'm here is to help you overcome the guilt that you have about your father's death. That's all. That's bullshit! Matt. <laughs> Matt. She made it catch on fire. I rest my case. I rest my case. Your guilt. I'm so confused. Mm. This is the most uneven script I think I've ever seen in my life. Beautiful. It's so beautiful. Well, what I assume is that it was edited to death. Is what I oh my god, seriously. I assume there's a cohesion plot. Who is this like guy? That. But this is the worst part. Is Who are uncle. these brand new characters? We didn't just see them. Well, we gotta see kids. We're not interested. Look at those salmon sheets. Those pink mm. salmon colored sheets. <laughs> Nothing says let's fuck in the 80s like salmon colored sheets. They cheese. love salmon, man. They love salmon in the 80s. Is that covered in cobwebs? So Why would you feel bad about this? Your father was punching your mom in the face. You miss the man that punched your mom in the face? He made the best knuckle sandwiches. <laughs> oh my god, this helmet haired woman, I can't deal with did her. They leave the, did they just like leave the house that Wait, day? Wait, is it dark now? Oh shit, it was daytime, now it's nighttime. They fixed the dock and made it really sexy. Of course they did. They made the dock beautiful. Look at hey, this is our dock. property value. Right? Hey, yeah. they should have... Yeah, I think they should have collapsed that dock a long time ago. If this Crystal is Lake the... HOA demands. <laughs> you must have a dock. Functional dock. Regardless of your children's <laughs> psychotic episodes. Please, baby, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to punch your mom in the face. Tina! Do you not understand that he had so much time to run off of that bridge before yeah. it collapsed? That's what's amazing to me. Is that he just wobbled there for four he minutes? He just sat there wobbling for two minutes like, whoa! Like, the thing didn't collapse for two minutes. Maybe he was drunk. No, he was not drunk. 
Maybe was he was secretly drunk. Maybe that's oh, how he was shit. Her. She just said, I wish I could bring you back. And guess who's floating at the bottom of the lake? Can't do shit. Ready? Oh, that's no. That's not your dad. That's Jason Voorhees. So only she could break the chain at the bottom? Oh, my God. So this bitch creates her okay, own yeah. problems? This would be so sexist. Leave it to a woman to unleash a serial she killer upon the world. Leave her daddy issues alone. It's not your dad. Your dad is not a supernatural murderer. How many other ways could you have brought Jason? Wow, this, lake? this is so trashy, dude. So she creates Whoops. her own problems. Are you gonna see him? Oh, yeah. there he is. I That's love, not your dad. I love, I love the. That's the, obviously a serial killer. I love the signature Jason burst up out of a lake. Oh, arm, she passed out. Arm crazy flail. That's the best. Oh, well, his spine's exposed. That's kind of cool, though. That's cool. He's kind of like a rotting corpse. Ooh, he's been under a lake a while. Those fish. Yeah, but I like, I like the um the special effect Gina, on that. Sweetheart, are you alright? Oh my God! Look at this woman's hair. It won't move. It just keeps flailing he? out at the sides. Why did we spend $8,000 on <laughs> hairspray on this film? <laughs> Jason's bald. I'm confused. You're saying a man came out of the lake? You're saying a man? You think this has nothing to do with my father. Leave my father out of there. What's really frustrating to me about so many of these old movies is just exact. all of this is just reliant death. on treating women like it's garbage. A powerful thing. But it wasn't my Mind is She's trying to tell you. It wasn't a hallucination. Yes, it was. A lot of a lot of these old <laughs> horror movies, a lot of a lot of horror movies in general, though, but especially these old movies, are basically just reliant on not believing women when they tell you yeah. that something is coming Shit's to kill you, yeah. and they're like, "Oh, okay, mm -hmm. fuck you." Even Paranormal Activity, that asshole kept exacerbating the situation. And he didn't believe her until it was too late. And then it was mm -hmm. like, okay, you're dead. And so much of that is the about... Shining. But you know, Jane, frankly, I actually... I don't Michael. know if that means that these movies are sexist or that they're trying to teach us lessons about sexism. I guess you could look at it both ways. You just missed the best line. What did I did? What was the line? You just said, woods is woods. Woods is woods. All right. It's, it's camped here. Everybody's waiting for us to show up. I got this great cabin and everything. Why is she mad? No way. Is this another this is another another couple. This isn't the one we saw fucking. Yeah, this is another separate couple that are all going to die in the we woods. We gotta establish all the couples here. We need a bunch of titties and we need a bunch of couples. But anyway, as I was saying, do you think that they could be I guess you could look at it both like as a a lesson about sexism or sexism itself? But in, both. but in the end, she yeah. still has to live with the guilt and trauma of, course. of everything that happened. Yeah. Even if they win. You know, even yeah. when you win, you can't really escape no, it. It's, no. it's, it's sad. It's fucked up. It's, yeah, it is fucked up. But yeah. it is. It's a constant lesson that, like, you don't believe women, and then you all get stabbed in the eye. Like, that's what happens. The women are just the harbingers. The men are what create the change. This guy's been in stuff, though. I know this actor. He's yeah, playing yeah. a doctor. He looks really nice. He's played a mafia guy before. I can see it. You know what's shocking, though, to me? Is this movie is bad, but it's still not as bad as The Hatred. <laughs> Damn, sorry, Michael G. Cudlow. <laughs> the hate <laughs> He still bad. remembers. <laughs> but maybe that means it's great. Maybe that means it's art. Is it just yeah. stuck with you that hard? Right? Yes, you're right. It right? did. It stuck with me so hard. <laughs> Don't worry, Friday the 17th, the new, Friday the 13th, the new blood. You'll never be as bad as the hatred. Damn. I just, it's so sad when, like... <laughs> It's so sad when there's a movie this is that's... hilarious. Yeah. Be back in two shakes. Oh, he's talking about his dick. He's going to pee. Let me just, is that what shakes let's means? Let's carry all these things. Is that what two shakes means? Uh -huh. Is it about penises? You never heard the shake rule? The, the, no, when you say be back in sh two shakes, does that is that about your penis? Uh, possibly. Is that it about could be. dick? It could be. Well, what they say... I'm trying to remember where it was said because it was something in a comedic film. Mm -hmm. But the idea is no, that oh, no, after no. you pee... Because the full phrase is you be back in two shakes of a lamb's tail. Right. 
That's why. Because lambs shake their tails really fast. Because lambs shake their tails really fast, yeah. Okay. So never so mind, it's not about you penises. Pee, you should do a little shake. Yes. So to get the pee, pee out of your prostate. Of your urethra or whatever. I didn't mean prostate. I understand biology. Her hair's beautiful. She's got great curls. She's got great curls. She's, got the best she's so a perm. Like, oh no, Jason, you're not the girl with the good hair. Oh, she's super dead. Oh man. I was hoping she she seemed like the best actress. Patty with the good hair. She died. Oh no. Jane. Jane. Oh man. I'm gonna get pinned for this. No one's gonna believe I was peeing. Oh good, the killer's still here. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> I like the chain around his neck. It's like a hot little like, bow tie. It's like, An accessory? Yeah, it's a hot accessory. Yeah. I'm bringing it in. Mr. T made it hot. Jason's making it hotter. But this just... This is just like... This is why I hate this premise. Like, I hate the slasher premise. As a whole. Do you don't want to see the chase? No, it's, it's just more that it's something that is so easily becomes cliche and predictable. It's and formulaic. all it is, it, it's super formulaic. But people like formulas. Like, people like well, formulas. I stuff. hate it. I hate, I hate this. Like, that's why people like James Bond movies and, like, other things. Some people just yeah, like films that are always the same formula. Yeah. You wonder. I guess. What do you think of Starlacon? Star? Thirty thousand years into the future, the entire galaxy oh is populated yes. by highly evolved protozoa. Good, huh? Okay. Only one human being and his woman still exist amongst the stars. Crazy. You met our resident Friday. Yeah. Ice cream and cake. Huh? Yeah, that's how writers act all the time. Hey, hey! I got a hot story. <laughs> protozoa. Yeah, Everybody so out here is perfectly normal. That kid's so good. You know what? This is reminding me of so hard. This is just giving me the cabin in the woods vibe so much. Yeah. Well, I left it at home, and he goes, "You have to go and get it." Oh my god, yes! Which is still one of this the most adorable, ugly best friend. Yes. <laughs> cabin in the woods. No is girls still one ever gonna. No boys ever gonna metas. kiss you. The oh most my brilliant god. metas. So she should live, right? She shouldn't die. No, she's gonna die anyway. Look, Look at those shoulder pads. She's too smart. She's gonna die already. This Oscar for this movie, bro. He is. He's the best actor My so far. My uncle's gonna shit. My uncle's gonna shit. This looks like the closing time of the stock exchange. Look at me. I'm obviously a stock exchange so person. So does that mean it's because there's a lot of booze around? Is that what that means? Obviously, she's the fancy bitch. Look at this fancy bitch. Hi, I'm a... Did she literally just shake her shoulders she sexually? She when she's like, hi. I'm she sold me her shoulder pads and her shoulder shake. Does it work? She's the prettiest girl. What a stupid <laughs> Thanks, James Dean ripoff boy. You're the perfect daughter. Oh my god. Ugh. Oh shit. Yeah. Aww. Yeah, choked all over that beer. Oh no, what the fuck? She just saw everyone's death. Oh shit, she's got fucking future kinesis too. She's got future kinesis? <laughs> She Damn. just saw a vision of uh, of the guy getting stabbed in the face. Oh shit, bras on the wall. Damn, Let me tell you like something about it. It does. Oh snap. That's where it's gonna happen. Okay, so if you bend it, you can save him, right? Yeah, exactly. Right there. <laughs> Change time. Oh no, fuck it. Let him go. Mom! Mom! This would be really fucked up if they didn't show Jason killing people already. Why? Huh? If they had done this movie and killed all the Jason parts already. Okay, here's what. No, 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 I'm sorry. Here's what pisses me the fuck off right now. This bitch can move shit with her mind. Yeah. But she's seeing.
visions of people getting killed and their delusions. Are you fucking kidding me? No, but Which this one guy's is also it? saying that her dad dying is a hallucination. No, no, no. He's saying that her dad dying is all her guilt and that yeah, everything she she's seeing now... she doesn't think that her dad died because of her. Oh, I hope he gets stabbed right now. I want him to die. She hasn't seen that vision yet. Oh, snap. It was right there. But it was here. It was right here. The large spike that I saw. This is bullshit. This bitch can move things with her mind and you don't believe her that she's seeing the future. Or the present. Oh my god. Why did the spike disappear though? Because Jason picked it up because he's going to stab it for in the face with it. See, this is getting intriguing now. Now the mystery's unfolding before us. Now that all of our pawns are in place. Everything cool. about this is terrible. And he is the worst therapist. I'm cold. Did you don't like his angry? Why don't we crawl in the sand? Why don't we Why crawl in the sand? There's no wood. We're in a forest. Look at their accents. We need wood. We need wood. He's got some wood. In his pants. I'll He's got more. wood. Dick. Oh shit. Don't give that. You're gonna give Jason Oh snap. That. He imitated the Terminator. That's copyright. They get sued. You're gonna give Jason that sweet machete. <laughs> I you know, right? Fool. You dumb fool! How dare you bring Stop a machete? Stop walking to around with the master prop, you idiot! <laughs> Jason, but how is he gonna chop wood with that machete? Machetes don't chop wood like that, do they? Yeah, yeah. Machetes chop things pretty good. Yeah, but not like with dry wood. Mm. I'm sorry. I'm arguing with the semantics of a machete. Well, you saw the film Machete and not watch the Machete chop wood with the Machete. Oh, whoa, there he goes. That's how you did it. He chopped that wood. <laughs> Chasing vision. Yeah, I understand what you mean about the slasher film. Yeah. Cause like, how is it scary that the camera's sneaking up on you yeah. when you know the thing sneaking up on him? It's the same thing we know is gonna fucking work in the park. Exactly. Like, yeah, yeah. It's like you're just waiting. You're waiting for the gore. You're wondering how bad. Oh it's my be. god! You punch that guy through the spine. See? It's hardcore, and now he's got a sweet master machete now, so he can do his real carving work that he shouldn't want to do. But I just, I'm, I'm just, you know, to me, okay. And I guess you, you are right because I like, I love ghost stories. And ghost stories are pretty formulated, but there's still, I still feel like there's a mystery. A lot of times a good ghost story, there's a mystery to be solved. You know what I mean? There's a mystery of, of, oh, who, what does the ghost want? Or where does the ghost come from? Or is there some, and the problem with the slasher would be there's no fucking mystery. Right, but but this is the joy. Everyone's version of the screen, everyone's version of, Dan is in here, what's going on? Oh look, he's gonna pull her out. In the sleeping bag. This is the the signature, right? This is the fucking the yeah. dream of Friday the 13th. Yeah. Somebody pulling you out of your sleeping bag and He's gonna, gonna swing you. her against the tree. Oh yeah. no! Yeah. Jason. Why so grumpy? And he's so angry. Like, he's just mad. It's just there his hate. His anger. That's because he needs some body pause. Oh my god, this door. <gasps> oh my god, a black girl showed up. Where did she come from? Where did these people come from? They weren't here! Why don't you tell us all about Throngar? Throng what? Oh, no, my mistake. It wasn't Ben. Hey, look at the time. You gotta get moving and put something on paper. Uh, some surprise party that turned out to be, huh? Uh, you know, Michael. He probably got pulled over for drunk driving and spent the night in jail. I mean, the guy could smell a party on the wall. They're waiting for those guys to die. Yeah, yeah. The, the no. first one, the one with the, curl, the curly hair. With the black guys. Like so the blade. What the fuck? Has anybody seen this? Why is she angry They're at him for no reason? They came in in a fight, right? Damn, you know... this bitch, that bitch is ready to destroy people. You saw her evil eyes? She's like, She's I'm like, gonna I kill wish her. I was telekinetic. I would fuck joke. you up. They think they're not my friends. They're not my what? friends. I just hear from my cousin. Who is so where from? Where are you from? We're doing really good here, aren't we? Okay, here goes. I grew up in Pittsburgh. 
I used to hang out with a real bad crowd. Then my dad kicked me out. Now I go to night school. You're done. Now we can fall in love forever. I used to come up here all the time until my dad got killed in the lake. Oh shit. I don't like you. This is who should have played Freddie Mercury. Yeah, this guy. This guy, his hair is oh, my beautiful. Hair. Oh, my God, look at this sneaky bitch. <laughs> is she seriously sneaking around? I mean, all white with platinum blonde hair. Let me sneak behind this dark She's so sneaky. I'm wearing my bright blue camouflage outfit. Is this still morning or is it sunset again? No, it's morning-ish. No, it's morning. They were eating breakfast. I know, I know, but this feels like sunset now. I need you to be okay or else I can't fuck you. I can't fuck a crazy lady. Doctor. He came out to help me in the mental hospital. Oh, shit. I am still crazy. <laughs> Do you still want to fuck? <laughs> I've heard that crazy women are better fucks. According to Sexist Magazine USA. Don't you fuck like a psycho? Look at, these, the woods, look at these nuts. dope oh, denim look jackets. She bites her lip look like, at these dope damn. denim jackets. I love these. See, I love denim in the back. <laughs> denim jackets are back. They should be back forever. I, um, I saw it. It's a uh, big pink elephant. I'll make fun of your mental illness. Ha, thanks it. for mocking my pain. <laughs> oh my god. You're going to be another delusion. That would be kind is, of fucked up if he was. He should, uh, like, take her hand and put right? her on his dick and be like, is this a delusion? <laughs> Look, it's the pink elephant. <laughs> and it's drunk, Oh, baby. check out her cowboy boots. Oh, my. These are my sneaking Good boots. Good morning. I got some dick. What was that for? She didn't. She just got, like, a hug. The promise Nothing. of dick. You brought me to Kim Dickley. <laughs> <laughs> Crystal Dickley. <laughs> We've got tomatoes, peppers, onions. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we just need to say, put in your order. Fruits, craft services, we'll put in the movie. Oh, They're making kebabs. Mmm, that makes me want some kebabs. Those look good. I love this outfit. That she's oh wearing. He blew me off to go with Eddie. No, she's mad. Okay, now we're learning through whispers what happened between these two characters and why this woman is inexplicably angry for no reason. I wonder reason. if anyone's ever done like a Friday the 13th LARPing event. What? Where people show up and dress like the 80s. Damn, look at this and bitch. Everyone... She is so bitch. No, what? What's up? A Friday the 13th LARPing event. You run out of campground. Uh-huh. Everyone shows up dressed as 80s people. You have a Jason. And then he kills everybody. And you guys have a party. Eat kebab. Get drunk. <gasps> this bitch! Fuck you. She just called her ugly. When she's like, you see how he's looking at me? And she's like, you're not as tight because you're wearing glasses and you're a fool. Yeah, sure. See these? Not about potty. I'm gonna do it. Mom, you don't smoke. I do now. No, you can't. Run away. You and I do. Whoa, I love her outfit. I really actually do love her outfit. Yeah, she's really hot. I love this 80s outfit right now. I want that yellow. Yeah, except horrible. for the shoulder pads. The shoulder pads are terrible. But I love her little top and I love her. I want that outfit right now. I'll wear that tomorrow. Yeah, good. Don't worry. He'll show. All these kids, the all these the actors are awesome, baby. I love this guy. Oh, 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 oh. That laugh. Kill her. Kill her. Twist her neck Kill around. Her. Oh, shit. I knew it. I knew she was going to get chucked by that shit. Oh, snap. Her oh, necklace. Oh. What the fuck? Oh, no. My fancy daddy necklace. <laughs> daddy necklace. Her dad gave it to her. Of course. Can't open the door. Where the were you this whole time? I hate this place. I hate it. I don't want to do it. I'm seeing things. I could kill somebody. I could have done that. Christina, when you're highly emotional, you do almost anything, you see. Just prove my point. This guy's such a condescending what? asshole. I feel like no matter what happens, he's like, You prove my point. You prove my point about how you're a stupid bitch. <laughs> 
Christina, my entire hypothesis is that you're a dumb bitch and you need to figure yourself out. You haven't heard a thing of word that I've said. No, he hasn't. Because he thinks you're a dumb bitch. She's a crazy bitch. I already made my dog. I put it in the file, crazy bitch. Where did you get your medical degree, doctor? From night school, the same as everyone else. Now, if you want to see your daughter in the hospital for the rest of her life, say what you want. Sap the shit out of everyone. Yep. Throw the TV at his head. Yeah, that TV, yeah, fuck you. Suck a delusion, motherfucker. Suck a delusion. <laughs> There's so much to comment on this film. I just want to keep. But the production design is great. It's it is reuse actually. Reuse this yeah. set like eight times. Yeah, exactly. I love it. I got a porch. Wrong here. I know it. I got a room. I got a living room. Without you being like, hey, so I feel my cousin Michael. Because everything about that she says, men discredit her. It's bullshit. Ah. Oh, what did you do? What, what did you do? I didn't do anything. Oh my god, where's the remote? I'm innocent. It's your butt. No, it's not. Oh, sh it's getting worse. <laughs> <laughs> the, the remote's like fast forward. I don't know where it is. <laughs> and we're afraid it's about to jump at any second. <laughs> Fix it. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> Let's jump four minutes. We're at 36.03. Okay, okay, let's... When did you first fall in love with me? Oh shit, that's first hot outfit, too. I saw the enormous size of your beautiful wallet. Ha 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 ha, she's the old one. Wow. What the fuck? Okay, okay, let's make it. Oh through. shit, I love this girl. Let's go somewhere. Oh snap, I did it. She's the hottest girl in this movie. Oh, her boobs! I see her nipples! Whoa! She's that one. What? Why like is lingerie. the top and the button unbuttoned, and she just has one button in the middle? That's like the erotic dressing that she's got going on. Sandra, Sandra. I love oh shorts. God. She's the one. Look at look at how stock market he is with his sweater over his. You're our R rating, baby. Let's do it. Yep, here it comes. You're crazy. Whoa. Oh my. She's a very nice beauty. Yo, I'm impressed. 1980. Good, good casting, guys. Is this 1980? Uh, no, this is later. This is yeah, this is not 80s at all. This is 90s. No, this is mid 80s. Is this mid 80s? You need a formal invitation? Ha 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 ha! Right this way, please. Oh my god! Russell, I'm so horny! I need an RSVP miss. <laughs> that was a good one. <laughs> Sexy to chop up. So we got all this trouble. Insinuate things. No, sure. Why does why, why do I feel like they're like, yo, let's do the breakfast club? I can't believe this girl huh? thinks this guy is so attractive. He's such a stinky ass piece of not garbage. Are we gonna get along? Baby, can you let this man What do you wanna do? Take me? Get off of this argument. Arguing what is, why is she dressed like she's supposed to be in Oklahoma? Though? I love her outfit. I love that outfit. Yeah. I really do. But she, she looks, looks like, like a, a member of the Babysitter's Club. I love it. <laughs> Babysitter's Club. Say hello to you. Oh, your they, finally, they finally made up. Oh, no, no. She's going to put on more makeup because she's self conscious. Don't do it. Because of this bitch. Because in these movies, sluts die, sweetheart. No, Don't do it. No. Rick Moranis' daughter. You can't do Rick this. Rick Moranis! 
She's she smacking my head. Head. Oh. daughter. Baby, you don't want to date that piece of shit. He's a garbage loser. <laughs> Just go find a little cute boy. You'll, you'll find somebody. It's okay. He smokes marijuana. He's obviously not cool. Yeah, he's into pot cigarettes. Fuck that guy. <laughs> Michael's not showing up yet, so I'm going to wait for myself. What? Why is that guy just covering himself in streamers? I think he's making himself a streamer mummy, and I love him now even more. <laughs> he's so obsessed with himself. I love it. He's, he's, he's a self-absorbed writer. Oh, it's fair and love and war. This girl cannot act. She, she wants his. She can't act though. So it's so amazing. Stop. She's the pretty girl. She's like a high school. Act. She's like a high school theater student. She's gonna show her boobs again. She's gonna show her boobs later for sure. Oh snap. She's like a high school theater student. Like, something's really wrong with her acting. This was written by multiple people. Maybe she's the Before producer's daughter. It took... Oh, no, no, I'm sorry. This the mm-hmm. script was written by Daryl Haney and Manuel Fidello. I mean, the characters. Okay. Two people wrote this terrible film. Yep. And they didn't even come up with R.C. Penis. What's wrong with them? <laughs> What's wrong with them? If you can't come up with R.S.V. Penis... I don't know what you're doing. Here. Oh shit, the spike. Oh snap. He's got the spike. What's going on? He is. Are you joking? Why would I do that? What if the twist is that he was Jason Voorhees' really psychologist back in the day? You really think I'm cute? Huh? Me, the weird. Could there be an awesome writer? twist like that or something? Huh? Amazing. That'll be dope. Just been too blind to oh shit! Damn girl, anything for some guy? dick? Anything for some dick? Can't you see you're about to get betrayed, like the Throngarian people of your story? Mom, is that you? This is why she has her hair like this. That way, in a silhouette, you can see the shine of her hair <laughs> in any moonlight. Seriously. It's it's its own set of lighting. Let me look at his files. What did he say about my daughter? Crazy bitch. I want to lock her in my asylum and rape her. <gasps> what? Why are you making that terrible joke? Doctor Rapenstein. Because he's obviously a predator. In yeah, some he way. is. He is a predator. He's like super predator guy. Yeah. He looks like he's like mafia villain. Maybe that's why he's lying. Maybe he yeah. knows everything about Jason Voorhees, and that's why he's like, "Bitch, I know. I wanted you to come out here to awaken the demon." Maybe it would be fucked up if he's like, "I wanted to see <laughs> Jason and Carrie fight." Oh, shit. It's like God. It's like Godzilla. The spike. Like, what? So he found the kid dead. He found the spike. Yeah. So he knows. Yes. Everything. Yes. Although, why is he covering it up? Because he looks guilty. Because he incriminated himself? No, because now he knows she's not crazy. She's telling the truth, and there's a serial killer on the But then why was it in his drawer? It's another spike. Yes. That was on the thing. I don't understand what's going on. That he took down? Why does he have a secret spike? Oh, 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 look. Oh, she's got a videotape. This woman is acting so hard right now. How do videotapes work? Oh my god, look. She, she's like, what is a, this technology? But look at how hard she's acting. Yeah. She's like, I don't, I don't know how it's happening. The Anderson case in 65. The documentation here is much greater. Keeping Tina's trauma and stress levels high, I am confident I can induce huge psychokinetic reactions. <laughs> what do you think you're doing? He's trying to make her come all the psychokinesis everywhere. You, you never intended to help her. I saw Duh. 30 seconds of video and you're a dick. Duh. That's why I'm here. First I find the spike and then this, this. What have you been doing to my daughter? I have been trying to help her. What's this? Is what? this what Tina's talking about? Have you been hiding this all this time? Wow, this woman can't. I can't ask. expect you to understand this highly complicated process that is integral to your daughter's treatment. Liar! See what you've been doing. You have deliberately turned my daughter into an emotional wreck. It's not true. What you saw was. What's great is that treatment. actually this guy is a better actor, but he's basically just hamming it up Wait, super what? hard right now. Like he's doing his what best. What work does he do? With, look at the script he's got here. Yeah, exactly. You brought her here. He knows he's so in Friday the 13th, part 7. 
<laughs> like I saved my good shit for off Broadway. This guy is Terry Kaiser. You know who this guy the is. Great Terry Kaiser. Weekend of Bernie's. He was Bernie. There you go. I That's knew I knew this that guy. guy. The guy's Bernie. He's Bernie. a great actor. Wow, he is a great actor. He's a fucking physical Terry genius. Terry Kaiser, what are you doing in this movie? Gina. Terry. What if? What if? He's been in 152 he's a beast, things. He's a beast. He's an acting beast. Dude, what if He's still acting to this day. No. He was in recently a movie called Girls on Tap. Damn, Terry Kaiser, you man. Danny, what if what if this is the prequel to Weekend at Bernie's? He dies in this movie and, and becomes, becomes Bernie. Bernie. Bernie, yeah. how did you die, Bernie? And Dr. they have to Bernie. solve his death. How did you solve his death? Weekend at Bernie's three was supposed to be at Crystal Lake. <laughs> Wait, who's driving away? Is the daughter? Yeah, she's like, fuck this house. Damn straight. Fuck this family. I agree with her. She should go. Fuck oh Crystal no. Crystal Lake. There's dead people visions here. You I knew her. Oh no! Huh? Not a vision of Jason killing her mom in the streets. She's always passing out. She's passed out like five times. No, she's doing powerful psycho fucking future kinesis shit. You know what I mean? This guy has been acting forever and he's still acting in his doing. He's the definition of a working actor. That's amazing. He chugged me along, bro. Terry Kaiser, do it, baby. Do the champ. He's born in 1939. Holy shit. So he's fucking. Uh, so what's his age now? 80? Is he home? He was late 70s. 79 years old. Let's see. Oh my god, this is your version though. Sweetheart, no. I'm Get totally out of here. Beautiful. You know, first thing to do She is looks like she's about to, to do a weather wash report. That ex- yeah, she does. She does. Need a little touch up. Oh snap. Oh, put on that, oh mini skirt. that oh, outfit. Shit. That might work. That might work. Remember I have All I need is five hundred pounds of makeup and hairspray and I'm ready to be your slut. David? Just in time for Jason to be like, Yeah, that is a slutty girl. <laughs> <laughs> time to kill her. Oh, David, lipstick, slut, kill. David? David? I'm really horny. David, I want to have sex with you. David? 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 David, come. Come to my body. This is the way all the beautiful breeze. women walk around and look for boyfriends. With their high heels on at a fucking Through campsite the in the summertime. David? Oh. She didn't even like look around the house for him at all. I weep for like our 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 like generation. If like Where are you? if this is like the only thing people ever saw about about our like yeah. women, they'd be like, oh yeah, women always walk around in high heels and put makeup all over their faces. Oh my god, like, couldn't find him for five minutes. I lost my train of thought. I was had a point, but I lost mm-hmm. it. Never mind. My earring. What if you mean if aliens come and yeah. they know about humanity? Is, is the, that is Jason, women are dumb? Is Jason and they deserve to yeah. die? <laughs> yeah, find your earring in that small patch of grass. Genius. Thank God. Whoa, she Thank did God, it. my earring. Just in time to die. Oh my God. Oh my oh, God. Shit. shit got real. Oh my god, you saw how she screamed about that? <laughs> I totally he pranked did. her. He's super like pray. I, I got her. I got her. Ass. You got Friday the 13th. How does this skirt not fly up? Who that, locked the door? Did that you would be, lock the door? That would be a cool aspect of this movie if they care enough about that. If they like chopped up her outfit now and like it got all distressed and her shoe fell off and like. You know, if that was part of the horror. But no, she just walks into this nice set and look is gonna get sh- murdered. Look at her shoulder pads. Francisca! Can you think if Jason stabbed her shoulder pad <laughs> and pulled it out? Like, uh. Yeah. Oh, he's gonna stab me through the head, through this fence. And that's where her problems are, in her head. <laughs> Your heart's gold, honey. <laughs> Jason sees you. Oh no, where'd he go? 
He's leaving. Oh no, there go the shoes. Smart enough to take those shoes off. Oh. What would be amazing now, right? If I was gonna do a Jason movie. Uh huh. Right? You start the Jason movie here, right? And then this girl just hides from Jason the whole movie and doesn't yeah. get killed. And never gets killed. But she keeps on leading him to more people that get killed. Oh, God, so everyone else dies with her. And it's just watching her. her constantly escape. She's like, oh, no! <laughs> Whoops! <laughs> Guys, I never believe what I saw. Oh! No, not her. She was the one that identified with most. She, she really connected to her character of... <laughs> uh, Poor girl gets shamed into dressing like a hooker. That was me once. That was me. I was gonna have all this unprotected sex because my friends made me feel like I was weird because I wasn't. I was just a normal person and everyone else was the asshole. Tina? Oh my god! Fuck, I want that station wagon. It's gorgeous. Gorgeous station wagon. What if she's hurt? What if she's hurt? Well, she did crash her car. Maybe she's probably hurt. Wait, wait, wait a minute. Don't go. Hey, don't leave! Don't leave! Don't leave. <laughs> oh my oh, shit. god. Look at his ass. Oh, I don't want that image. Yeah, because he's a tiny, his whiny, dirty, saggy ball. His underwear looks his dirty. Ball. I saw his ball. Yeah. Damn. Damn, everybody's fucking. They keep on, what I love is the dedication to this shot of people yeah. making out in bed. And fucking. Like you're standing at the end of the bed each yeah. time, like watching like a pervert as two people make out. Yeah. And it reminds me of, like Patrick Stewart, but, but it's too late. I've seen everything. <laughs> it's like this, that's the kind. Of, what? Oh shit! Damn, everybody's banging. Yo, you guys go fuck in the car. You guys are loud. Oh no, they're gonna die. Oh, no. In a car. Okay. You know, man, bro. Oh shit, he's going crazy. Bro. He is. Oh shit. Yeah, yeah, do that. Do that acting sex. Do it. That's my dick, honey. What do you think? It's Michael. Oh, what timing? Perfect. Time. What timing? I'm just trying to fuck. Yeah, right. Happy fucking birthday. What? Come on, you're here at last birthday, boy. Stop shaking a van. That's surprising. Right. Oh no. Even it ain't Michael Myers, bitch. It's Jason Ward. <laughs> He's probably up there somewhere. Uh, just go back to having sex. Oh my god, her post sex yeah. hair is. Uh, yeah, it's amazing. Okay, right. Okay, right. Don't worry. Yeah, hey, well, Michael, we split up like like every other couple has in this movie. And that's how we Everybody, die. Jason that's the worst part. Alone. If they only kill people alone, Everybody. it never kills them together. If y'all just I'm hung scared. out in the same room, he would never kill you. I'm you, I'm serious. He can't do group. He can't just... do group killings. He can't do groups. Are you, buddy? Come on. No threesomes. I'm a solo. <laughs> I'm a solo act. I'm monogamous for those. <laughs> For our last two minutes together. I'm a monogamous murderer. You're the only person I want to focus on for those two minutes. I believe in personal and intense killing. Ah! Oh, another neck break? Oh my god. What's he gonna do? He's gonna crush his head? Uh, yeah. Oh no! He's, on his jaw? He's gonna crush his head. He's doing the mountain head pop squeeze? Yeah. That's pretty bad. My thing is, he's just relaxing out. Constantly oh, and over and over again, he's just lashing out. Like, no, but these Dad. people don't deserve it. They're just hanging out. Right? At this point, Michael? he's just a supernatural They're dickhead. They're just next to a lake. He's just a supernatural like, cock blocking dickhead. You didn't even see them, like, be assholes anymore. Oh, no. Oh. Michael, you know. Oh, shit. What was that, a It was the noisemaker. Oh. Emotions. Rejection. Rejection. 
Fine. He's a Frankenstein ahead. I understand. I've been rejected by some of the finest science fiction magazines in the continental <laughs> United States. <laughs> oh my hey, god. Hey, you know what? Props to him. In the cold shower. I got a date with the soap on a rope. Props to him for being respectful of her consent. I will give him props. He could have tried to force her. He could have gotten angry and nasty, but he didn't. He walked away and he said, I'm going to the shower to jerk off. Do you know why, though? Because they're treating him like, what, what do they call it? What are the stupid He's a dweeb. MRAs call it beta male? He's a beta male, right? That's the stereotype that she's going on. That's what it is. That's all Jason's it is. Jason's an alpha? It's because she's... No, but all these other guys have forced her. Like, that's how they view masculinity in these fucking movies. Like, if you're not, like, making a bitch have sex with you, it's like... Who cares? Who cares? That's fine. Who cares? Oh, my God, her side today. Jesus. That is a fake boob. 1988, she better have fake boobs. Oh, yeah. I think they're gonna die together. Oh, my God. That's love. That's the way to go. Oh, my God. Yeah, there should be fucking bodies everywhere. He's killed like eight yeah, people like eight so far. Yeah, like eight people. Holy it should shit, be guys. Corpse City. <laughs> Sweetie, say his name. He's dead. That's my cousin Michael. I knew it. You did this. Mm -hmm. What else did you see? We've gotta keep going. We've gotta get out of here. Sweetie, she has to call the police. Why does no one call the police? That's what's always so ridiculous about these movies. No one calls the fucking cops. You know what would be amazing? I'm hungry. I'm romantic. I kind of wish this was a Friday the 13th Christmas movie. Oh my god. So you have like a dead body full of, like a tree full of dead bodies. Oh man, they're together. What? What? Why did he just. He's trying to be clever now? I have no idea. The Neanderthal man? I don't want my tits on. It's dark. She's your tits too. I think they're real. Yeah? I think you're wrong. You missed the boob. I'm so sorry. Don't let it slip. I really don't care whether her boobs are real or fake. They're her boobs. They're fine. Oh my god, he's a clown. I love it. Anyway. He's trying to make her laugh and be a little bozo. Gee, thanks. They're, they're a real relationship right here. This is Hi. the best writing I've done so far. Whoa. Oh, no, now no, they split up. Now they're dead. Mm. Oh, you're right. There it goes. You can't if do All it. you gotta do is you just gotta you hang out together. You formula. just gotta have a group sleepover. You just gotta have a group sleepover. Mm. But that's what's pathetic is that if, if Jason's so scary, you should be killing these people in groups. Like, you should be... No, you're never safe. Yeah, like, you're never... Like, no. Oh, no, there's blood everywhere. What the fuck? Like, these people are always going to who, other parts of... Who put dead bodies in the fridge? Who oh. put this head in the freezer? Mystery will be in bit. I'm pretty sure... Oh, this is the ice cream or something? I'm pretty sure there's a severed head in the fridge. I hope it is. so lame. Happy birthday! And he doesn't even talk, like, if he talks or something, and he said a cat thing. That's why Freddy's a better, like, bad guy, because Freddy's, like, at least he's quippy about killing you. Damn, you see that shit in the middle of That's the right. commentary? That's right! Freddy Krueger is the better horror slasher thing. And you're a hater. I am not a hater, it is the truth. He's Jason Voorhees his entire he's life and death, constantly overly criticized, and oh, now you too Jesus. say he's too silent. That's it. just a victim. He's just a victim. Cruise now. Cruise now. It would be awesome if this doctor or whatever was just trying to make like a horror Avengers team. He's like, I brought you to Crystal Lake to wake him. I already and then have when the you're others. done, we're gonna get the Wolfman. <laughs> we're gonna and beat Swamp this dude. I called up Cujo. He's coming. I don't know. There's some mystery shit. Let's go. This is important. You Killer have to research Crystal these Lake. news clippings. Jason Lewis. Where is it? Jason movie. What are you no. Oh shit. <laughs> this is her freak out when she released the killer. Like, oh, yeah. Oh my god, that's you. 
Okay, it's in the telephone line. Could be Michael so much. They did, and he's like, dead. That's it's the so saddest sad. part. Like it's kind everyone of depressing. Everyone really like fucking Michael. Every time everyone keeps on talking about Michael, it makes me sad. Michael's dead. Like yeah. everyone was really excited to hang out with Michael on his birthday. They really appreciated like, Michael. He was a good friend. They so threw, but look, look what they did for him. They threw this whole party. They gathered Michael. together, disparate pieces of the same friend circle. It's Those sad. who don't even like each other all got together to celebrate Michael. It's it's Michael's. Is, is this is this Michael meta? Was the is this meta? <laughs> They're like, fuck Michael Myers. Personal penis enlarging. Oh. Someone got him a penis That was the problem. Was it? Oh, it's a micro, it's a, it's a, micro, it's a novelty oh, gift. So Jason just looks like he's looking for his socks now or his keys. <laughs> he does. He's like, whoa, where, where did I go? leave those kids I want to kill? <laughs> Under the couch. Kitty, 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 kitty. Time for dinner. Mr. Mittens. Oh, look, there we go. If the Jason guy's real, let's all get together. So you can get That dumb bitch. My mother, I know that's Oh, <laughs> never mind. That's just talking about the snooty girl. <laughs> It'd be so amazing if she was like, if she just said, that dumb bitch that I hate. Oh, that was me to me when I showed up. Let's help her. Maybe. Change your mind or what? I did. Oh my god. Oh! So one person thinks Jason is fucking. It's a, it's a, it's a woman. <laughs> it's, it's a beautiful woman. <laughs> Confuses the smell of a rotting, a rotting dead corpse. fucking lake beast <laughs> for the beautiful woman he was just making out with. What sort of movie is this? Do you think he smells like death? And then I, I feel like if he does, he was under a fucking lake. He is a corpse. He's got a smell. But this is my problem. But nobody, but nobody comments on the that. smell. Like no hey, one. I feel like you it should smells know. Like there's he a was, lake in here. It, what the I, fuck? No one. Sh- everyone should smell him coming. Did you someone smell farts? Like rotting corpse. What the fuck? Like, oh, what died? And it's like Jason. Goes, oh, no, but that's part of the suspension of disbelief. Yeah, I guess that you're in a house and no one's ever commenting. <laughs> no one's ever commenting how much. Or noticing like, like damn, it's dripping over here. What the fuck? Damn y'all, it's so wet. It's so wet. Did you piss on the floor? Oh, there you go. <laughs> Jason, no! <laughs> Imagine you walk into the house like Marty peed everywhere. Oh no, it was Jason. It's Jason. God damn it. I'm dead now. Shouldn't have blamed Morty this time. Also, doesn't his footsteps. Aren't his footsteps heavy as shit? He What's looks that like a giant thudding? man. What is that thudding noise, guys? He's a giant man. He's a zombie. Someone's just bowling upstairs. Don't worry He's about it, Jim. a zombie. He is a zombie. But is it all the devil magic? I have no idea. Is that what what is the devil magic? Account? There's some devil magic going on here. He's a restless spirit. He is a restless spirit. There's a movie called Jason Goes to Hell. But he's like immortal. of vengeance. What vengeance? At this point, hasn't he gotten it? Blind enough? rage! <laughs> <laughs> Pointless rage and chaos! Stupidness. He's got big dick chaos energy. He's got big dick chaos energy. Oh shit, yeah, look at those, all those marijuana. That, that marijuana looks like a pile of grass clippings <laughs> that somebody got from outside. David? 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 Why is everyone calling David's name? David, David? Wasn't the other girl looking for David? Did yes, because she thought there? she could get him to bang him. I know, I know. But, but he was already upstairs banging this girl, so but, I don't know. Okay, but I'm saying, like, why are you doing the same gimmick twice? Because. <laughs> Some, like, the person they. People. When they say a name, they said more than Michael. And I Jason have to Bernie understand. Let me tell you something. If this script took more than two days to write, they should just throw the whole writers away. Like, that's. <laughs> oh, shit, Mr. Mitten! What did I say? <laughs> I was looking for the cat the whole time! Why is there a cat stuck in a closet? Oh my god, I'm gonna call that again. I'm calling it. What, that her boobs are gonna fall out? No, she put him away. I'm gonna come out again. This is obviously a PG 13 film. 
No. Maybe show boobs. Oh yeah, you're right. So it's rated R. This is R's foot. <sighs> they oh, put a spike no. in people's heads. All right. Poor kitty. Thank you. Kitty's about to be traumatized. Here, kitty. She's about to be fucking in the past. She's gonna be home pretty soon. Mr. Mittens, get out of here. Are you scared, kitty? Why are you scared? Why are you scared, Mr. Mittens? Is there a serial killer in the house? This is fun and sexy. Oh, blood. Yeah, she didn't notice the, the body that was sitting. Ah! There's his head. You found Mr. Mittens! He's pranking them now. What are you doing? He is. He's just fucking with them. He's, just He's bored them. now. I'll wait till they split up. Then I'll prank her. Then I'll throw her out the window. Oh, yeah. oh, stun guy. That yes. is such a stun guy wearing oh, a helmet my under God. a wing. Okay, that I'm not was amazing. Get boobs they had to throw the stun guy out the window. Yeah, you're not. He's right. The only time you die is alone. Don't separate. Then you go. I'll stay here. Don't. Oh my God. It's so infuriating. Don't spit up. Don't split up. It's the number. That's why Scream says all the Scream shit. Because then all know. of these formula. Yeah. See, this is the thing. I didn't watch all these Jason movies. I only saw like the first one or whatever. Split, you die. Yeah, you Did split, you, you die. David. Everybody David. is dead, sir. David. 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 <laughs> now you say David twelve times, please. It's kind of like the mummy. Remember when she was yeah. like, what was his name? Is his name David there too? No. No. His name was, uh... The amount of time she repeated that shit. Why do you think you remember the main characters of the movie? I don't know. 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 A twig snapped. We're gonna die. I heard a twig. That's the sign of death. It could be anything. It could be a deer. But it is instead Jason. I'm leaving. Go fuck yourself, lady. You're a fucking coward! Oh my god. He's the worst. Here. I found more lawn equipment. <laughs> I'm gonna kill you with it now. Someone opened that shed. There were a whole bunch of tools. It was really helpful. And no matter how fast you run, he always catches up to you. I don't get it. Devil magic. Ah! Oh my god, he's gonna sacrifice her. Oh my god. Oh wow, he's the worst dude. Whoa, he just let her mom get gutted. Now I don't feel bad that he died in Weekend of Bodies now. No. He deserved it. Oh, anybody. anybody! They're all dead, sweetheart. You should go. Yeah, just go, man. You found a dead body. Call the police. You can't find anyone you love. Yeah. Everything's, there's no power right now. Call the police. In this house. Okay? There you go. You found two dead bodies. Let's fucking go home now. Let's call the police from a No, he's got a gun. Away. He's good. Yeah, of course. He figured it out. I do like the balloons, though. The balloons are a nice horror touch in there. Yes, they're very festive. What? No, she's not here. What's a twist? When you were just gonna stay in the house. Did you felt your mother die through the force? What the fuck? Yeah. 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 
Come in. Come back with me now, please. But what are you doing here? Where's my mother? She's, uh... She's back at the house. Come on, please. You're Ooh. lying! Tina, I'm not lying. You're lying! I was just there! I made it. I made it. Shitty Dr. Erica. Where is she? Where's my mother? She's gone. What? She's gone. Tina. Tina! Mother? Tina, don't go in there! Tina! Alright, now they're just playing in the woods. Oh, look, he's using some of that sweet weekend and Bernie's physical work to get through these woods. <laughs> oh no, he got a chainsaw. Oh really? no. Really? Where does he keep getting all these power tools? Oh shit, he's got a fucking long saw thing. Someone just handing in power tools to the, the side. The first thing I did was get this catalog. <laughs> <laughs> Home Depot's just down the street, guys. It almost makes me wish that he had the first people he had killed were a bunch of lawn care workers. Yes! <laughs> and he was like driving their truck around. Like, like oh, let's like try all this shit service, out. Like some lawn service like driving in like, hey man, we gotta cut these shrubs. And he's like, bah! Every Friday the 13th, one lawn worker. <laughs> he's all you need. True trimming services won't even come to Crystal Lake, man. They keep getting killed. Don't forget this film is called The New Blood. You gotta deliver the blood. You're gonna die, bro. I can help you, Jason. I'm a doctor. No oh, lines? Nothing? Nothing. Can you try to talk to me out of this? Honey, it's up to I'm you and your psycho, your telekinesis to save us now. Don't forget, this is the setup for Friday the 13th Part 8, Jason Takes Manhattan. So, somehow she's got to send him to New York, I guess. Maybe she throws him to the Hudson River? Kate? Kate, you look like another box in the tree. Oh no, you are a in the tree. Oh my god. He's working on an art project. <laughs> it's performance art. All right. Some people decorate trees with lights. Some people paint them. I throw bodies on them. Dun dun dun. He's back. Jason. Yes. No. It is Jason. It's not anyone else. You're not my dad, right? Second time, just need to check. Oh, shit. This is unexpected. You're controlling the tree? Yes. So you're a tree old man for tree man. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Throw that electricity at him, too. Zap that motherfucker. Oh, shit. Jason, you, you're fucked up. Jason. How do you want your Jason D? Here's part? what's really annoying is that like this is the best part of the movie and they should have just they should have cut thirty minutes of this movie. No, they should have set them fighting for, for fighting 15, for, for like minutes. fifty minutes. They should just be fighting each other. Yeah. yeah, that's what I thought the movie was gonna be. Yeah. I thought the movie would have like twenty minutes of Jason. Where movie. are we at? I'm pausing it for a second. <laughs> and see. like a good amount of monster fighting. We're taking we are... a pause. Okay, there are <laughs> ten only minutes to the end. <laughs> ten minutes to the end. And now is when we're gonna get to see her start zapping him with her magic mind powers. 
It's one thirteen. Okay, we're at one thirteen forty one, guys. All right, pressing play. Yeah, sit through seventy minutes <laughs> of garbage <laughs> to get to the ten minutes of rip off Carrie versus Sweetheart. Jason. Sweetheart, he's not dead. He's never dead. That's he's a, cool a supernatural shot, demon. There's a shadow. There he goes. How dare you electrocute me? Ah, it's like you were never alive to begin with. You know what would be more fantastic is if instead of this garbage horror nonsense. He fell instantly in love with her because it's like, oh, a woman of my own strength. And she's like, ugh. And then they go on a date and it's awkward and funny. Oh my god. Yeah, this turned into a rom-com at the end. Yeah, this turned into a monster romance. Yeah, I hated those people too. I'm just super into monster kink right now, so I'm about to say, like, everyone should just be like, fucking monsters. Well, this is your chance to write the Jason Tina fanfic. I'm sure someone's written a Jason Tina fanfic. I bet you money. I'm gonna look it up right now to see if I find a Jason Tina fanfic. I'm gonna wait. No, no. Enjoy the visuals. Okay. We got enjoying. balloons waving in the winds. The balloons are a nice touch. I think he's in love with her. I, think I saw I, you kill your I'm dad. I'm gonna read my head cannon as he's in love with her. I saw you kill your dad. It was hot. <laughs> I ship it. <laughs> I ship it. <laughs> you would murder. I ship it. Oh snap! They have it! Oh, shit. Our color own! Never fails me! Oh snap, throw that couch again! Oh my god, Steven, there are four works! I want to pause this because I want everyone no, to understand. There are four works for Tina Shepard, Jason Voorhees. Here's one Smut! This was written in 2016. Jason Voorhees, Tina Shepard, Jason Voorhees. Can we finish the movie? Smut. In which having... No, shut up! Listen to this. In which having a girlfriend with telekinetic and psychic powers can be convenient sometimes. Not so much for the girlfriend if she's trying to meditate and undead killer boyfriend is projecting his thoughts into hers. Seriously, can you not, Jason? Okay, but anyway, I ship it and someone else does too. We're going back to this. Oh my god, this is amazing. Oh shit. Dude, that house fight was my... Look at that bandit. I know This is what you wanted, baby. This, this is, is what I wanted. The only thing they're gonna give you. This is fantastic. Oh shit. He's so in love with her. Look at him. He's like, what? This woman is destroying my body. He's in love. Oh, this bitch is still alive. She's the last death. Tina's gonna kill them. Tina, Tina you look like them. garbage. Tina killed these people. They cheated on you. No, you didn't. You never kill him. He's dead. Okay, okay. He's already dead, baby. This guy is so handsome. He is pretty handsome. He's gotten more handsome than he is on board. <laughs> the sadder he is, the more handsome he gets. He's really good at brooding. They saved this dumb bitch for the last death. You people give me the creeps. Where do you think you're going? I'm going back to bed. You wanna come? Oh shit. This is the worst Z- double entendre. That was the best stay writing ever. Us. He said stay here with you. If you don't separate, don't you there. don't die. Don't go don't out there. Fuck you. Fuck your rules. Fuck you both. Oh no, he's right there. No, no, fuck you both. Oh shit. Welcome. Look at him. He's heaving with jealousy. He wants his woman. He's come here to claim his woman. Oh snap. Oh, actually, his face through the lamp? Yep. Fuck that lamp. <laughs> oh shit, yeah, just, just go around the room in a circle. Jason. This camera work is terrible. Jason. This camera work is awful. I don't know how to make, they're trying to make this action more than No, it's awful, this. it's awful. Don't separate, whatever you do. You must stay together. Shut. Yeah, you went to the second floor. What the fuck did you expect, bro? Zap that motherfucker into the next world, Tina.
Jason's gonna grab you. Jason's gonna grab you. Hello? Oh, I think my dad left out. Sorry. Edit this out. And we're back! Uh, sorry, small commercial break. And we're at 118. I'm sorry, I'm ruining the momentum of this film. Oh, here we go. Boom. She wants to stew in this last act as long as possible. I did. It's so brilliant. Oh, no. Oh. That's what Harry Potter should have done. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you, Dursley. Comfort under the stairs, my ass. No, Jason. Jason, no, Jason. Bad Jason. Bad Jason. He was a nice one. Oh, my God. Is she making his head explode? Oh, oh nasty. Yeah, pus. Oh, Ew. Oh, oh. Oh, oh, Jason's face. Kiss her. Kiss her! You obviously love her! Oh my god. I've never seen a Jason face shot. You've never amazing. seen a Jason face shot? Beautiful. Mm. What about Jason? I'm just gonna bury her, him in hell. No! Okay, throw, you threw him down the stairs. Do you think throwing him under the house now will work? You gotta bury his After ass. After choking him. He's gonna jump up again. I don't think so. We're getting he another was, scare. He was chained to the bottom of the lake. This is why I always hate. There's always another scare. There's always another jump. There's always another thing. That's why you don't like the lake. The switch pop out scares. That, I, that's the other reason I don't like them. It's just, just pop out scares. Like if I wanted to be scared all the time, I would like go to a haunted house Once or I would. You can't stop. Ooh, his teeth. You gotta, you're like British. This is the British. <laughs> I'm taking you as my wife! <laughs> Look at me. Before I you. love you. I want to be with you. No, not Together the we can be the best. No! I'm not Hellraiser. I don't want to do this for you. Whatever gets you off, honey, I will do it. I love you. That's what he's transmitting to her, his thoughts. Oh. Gasolina. Not in my gasoline. <laughs> this is getting a music video remix. <laughs> Yo, Pitbull, what's going on here? Oh, she's gonna burn with him. Oh, shit. Look at him, he's so passionately and like in love with her. What does this score mean here? Why is it like like a haunted amusement park? These like creepy eerie things are happening. <laughs> but sir, everything in my house is creepy and eerie. <laughs> There's a zombie on fire. You know what's scary to me? Circus Calliope. <laughs> oh yeah, great idea. Yes. That'll really heighten the fear here. Get that circus thing going. Oh my god, that's really fucked up. I can't believe I did that. I can't believe I set this guy on fire. But now I'm trapped in the basement and didn't figure out how to get out of here. I burn for you, my now love. I need to get pulled up by a I guy. burn for you, my love. Oh, there he is. Uh, uh, uh. You're just gonna fall over and die. Yeah. It's about this time. Bullshit. That's what she did. What I feel bad for Jason about is that when he gets burned up like this, shouldn't he get a brand new fancy body? Like, no, he doesn't get that. He's a little regrown. He's dead. Boom. Why would the house explode? It was on an oil refinery. Refinery. Okay. We kept a lot of gasoline down there. <laughs> um, well, what they don't understand is that my Mentos and Diet Coke collection were sitting strategically atop okay. all that fire what and gasoline. What they don't understand is as Jason decomposes okay. under the lake, he fills with methane inside his body. Gone. So when he burns up and it hits the methane pocket. Yes, sweetheart, it's all gone. Take Everything's out of gone. All your memories. All your problems have burned away. Time to repress. 
Jason's gonna pop out from that leg. It's okay. It's okay. I saved us. <laughs> I did it. Oh no! Oh my god, I knew it. How the hell? I, I didn't get to ask you to prom! What will a gun do you just that an explosion and a hanging will okay. not? You should have shot her and yourself. I still wanted to ask you to prom! He kind of looks like he's getting more confident and handsome, right? Right? He is! He's like more confident he's a, in he is, than he's, he ever looked. He is. He's got a, he's got a oh, burning God damn it, woman. I dig you. I dig you. I want to take you out to the club. More creepy than I <laughs> Oh, she got dead! Oh my god! No fucking way! Is Only this happening? Oh my god! Zombie father! You'll save me! Thanks, zombie dad. And she fainted again. This is like the fifth, sixteenth oh time. Oh my god. And the way that he, was amazing. he just looked like they rubbed some on, so, soot on his face. <laughs> And put him in some tatters. The oh. actor's like, I don't want to fucking put any of that zombie shit so on. So they like, never recovered her dad's body and buried <laughs> they did. it? Just leave it in the lake. Fuck or it. was it the spirit of her drowned father? The drowned yeah. god? For he's yeah. the drowned yeah. god? Uh, he went drowning, they never be dead. Oh, no. A little more hose, please. That's what she said. Timmy. You damn so and so always fucking around. Oh my god, I can't believe that's how they got rid of it. That was amazing. Yeah. The spirit of her it's wet actually father. actually quite genius. What was he doing here? Where's Jason? What? I passed out. I passed out really bad. We took care of him. Uh, is the I want to see a shot of her and the dad punching each other under the lake right forever. now. Forever. Forever, just like. <laughs> Stay away. She said no. She, no means no, Jason. That was the end of that. Oh my god, the end. It would be amazing if you did like Tina Shepard like wow. 40 years later. <laughs> and she's like, I want a divorce. And he's like, no, I won't give you a divorce over her dad jumps out with the chain like. <laughs> <laughs> Not these powers again. Corey Feldman. Young Tommy. Yeah, he was there. Young Tommy. Oh no, because he was in the other movie. Yeah, he was in the other movie. Too. He was in another movie. Yeah, yeah. In the prequel part, in the prologue. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. what it was. Okay. Yeah. There's a Feldman out there. There's a Feldman. He did his time with Michael and with Jason. We tried to watch that. What was that movie we tried to watch the other day with Corey Feldman in it? Where he's like the weird drag queen vampire. What was that? Uh. I cannot remember the title. It was so terrible. And my body blocked it out. <laughs> it did block it out. The repressed memories. I'll Didn't have to go to fuck Crystal some Lake. girl over a car? Like, yeah, it was then, really, really not It was so bizarre. I think it was called like Jack Lucas or something like and that. And then he kept or... being like, tell me I'm beautiful. And he's like putting on line eyeliner. It was called was, like, Corbin Nash. Yes, that's what it was. There we go. Ding, ding, ding. Corbin it was Nash. two white guy names. It was Turn so it bad. with audio. Too many orchestral. <laughs> too much calliope for you. Too much spooky choirs going on here. <laughs> I'm just seeing if anything's gonna happen at the end. Where's the remote? And be like, Jason's gonna be all over this Manhattan. Isn't it in your thing over there? Huh? It's on your night table thing? Technical difficulties. Production value. Okay, so now we can read all the fanfic. Let's go. Alright, let's do it. What is gonna happen in Shit. the post credits? I really don't know where this remote is. Okay. So that was Friday the 13th, the part 7. Alright, I'm gonna fast forward to see if there's a behind. The new blood. We're fast forwarding to see if there's anything at the end end of the movie to tease. Nope. Nope. Jason will be back in Manhattan. <laughs> Next May time. Made in Manhattan. <laughs> so... Oh, wow. This was a great film. That was... For that the last, was something. For like 15 of this movie, 15 <laughs> minutes of this movie, it was a great film.
<laughs> no, it was not ever a great film. The other film. 75 minutes of the movie were not a great film. It went from being a terrible film to being a slightly better film. Oh, 15 minutes of this movie were gold. Oh my god, how like funny. two in the beginning, like four in the middle, and like probably 12 in the end. Like this two, story know. is an erotic imagining of Jason fucking this girl in her psychic mind. What? Yeah. But it's just straight to sex? It's just straight to sex. It's a one-shot straight smut. Straight to sex. And it's called yeah. what? It's called... Um, mind, mind fuck, fuck by zombie girl one nine seven. So obviously we know a lot about Damn, this girl. Zombie girl she likes zombies fucks, huh? and she likes Jason zombies. I'm in love. Zombie fucking. And she says, "I was cackling maniacally doing this whole thing. It's cracky and sexy at the same time." Hey 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 hey. She makes hey. cracky sexy. Of course. She, well, it's crack. It's a, it's a crack ship, obviously. Oh, that's what she means. Yeah, that's obviously. what she means. Sorry. This is amazing. I thought she meant that it's going to be as good I'm as crack. I'm sorry. This is fantastic. I cannot believe that I could look this up. Okay. What and other fixer oh, archive shit. of our own? Zombie Girl One Nine Seven is the only fan of this and archive of her oh, own. No. She has written every fan she's fiction. The lo- she's 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 the one. She's the and one in the year want. 2016, she got possessed. She got bitten by the shit bug. Of Jason Voorhees and Tina Shepard. Damn. And she wrote four stories. It's the first one. It's different. The way she made him feel was different. So very different. They're all one shots. I love it. Second one. Shut up and dance with me. Based oh. off that song. Crack. Pure crack with a bit of serious thrown in towards the end. Of where Tina Shepard manages to convince Jason Voorhees to dance with yes! her. Yes! Chapter one. Um... Then Barton Hollow, um, I think that's a civil, is it a civil war song? I don't know. Um, no, I'm a dead, she's a quote from the civil wars, which is a band. I'm a dead man walking here, but that's the least of all my fears. Ooh, underneath the water, the civil wars, Jason Voorhees and Tina Shepard. There are two comments. I want to read the comments. Okay, let's see. Um, This made my pussy bleed. (laughs) <laughs> it started off as one thing then became something else towards the end meh just wanted to get this out because I liked this ship a lot we'll do crack later on though in different one shots because I love crack and I especially love shit you know what's funny is that if you don't know what fandom is and what crack means in a fandom it sounds like she's a crack it sounds like she's a fucking crack yeah? I love crack I love crack a lot crack is really good I love ships where the small ships mean shipping like relationships where the small person can kick the tall, strong person's ass easily. Okay, this is the beginning sentence of the thing. I'm not going to read this whole fic. I'm just going to read the, the first paragraph. They were not an ideal couple. There was no such thing as normality with these two, and there never will be. The fact that the ties of the other world and supernatural hold tight around them does not help. Damn. Nor does the fact one is morally conflicted while the other would care less about what the deemed rights or wrongs of the outside world. With blood staining both their hands and condemning misery hanging over their heads, the two were drawn together from the shared space they were forced into out of unfortunate circumstances. It never started off soft or sweet, only violent, resentful, and grim as the reality they were born into. Only afterwards did tenderness come into play, but it cannot erase the dark nature that is their relationship. Misery loves company. Ooh. Wow, that was actually a pretty good she's, starting she's, paragraph. She's, good. she's a pretty decent writer. She made it a nice little romantic I'm pretty captiv- I'm pretty How captivated in here. How long is it? This is... I um, 20 hours? This is 1,800 words. Not that bad. That's not that bad. You can get through that. You want to do Bart Hollow? I, th- I wanted to do the dance one. The dance one? I, I want to read the, the comments. I want to see the comments that someone wrote. Comment account deleted. Oh shit! <laughs> so this person was ashamed of themselves. <laughs> okay, woo, steamy and passionate, but also very detailed and a great insight into the, both the characters and relationship that they have been tweet, have between each other. I really, really enjoyed reading this. The only problem I have with this is the fact that you put so much talent into the story, but didn't feel the need to share. Yeesh. But I kid. Wow, that's what a comment. I'm so confused. I kid. This is a really good fake. That I couldn't help but enjoy. They're basically saying they're jealous that she's a talented writer. Uh, on the level of smut, but also on a level of interpretation regarding their romance. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I can't wait to read more of your stories. Let's see what else Zombie Girl 197 has written. This is amazing. Oh, what else is in her ship? She also ships the Spectacular Spider-Man and Spider-Man. 
What? The Spider-Man and Spider-Man? Like the spectacular Spider-Man? Oh, the cartoon. So the cartoon, and in that one, she ships Liz Allen with Electro, Max Dillon. Ew, no, get it out of here. Yeah. I see this. Yeah. Crutch it. And then, no, 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 and then Spider-Man, Spider-Man cartoons, the other one okay. is, again, Electro. It's Yeah, the other one is the Electro. Because he's a monster stuck in a suit. Yeah, she okay. likes monster fucking. She loves it. She loves it a lot. Okay, so Friday mm-hmm. the 13th series. Okay. Um... Oh, she shipped Jason Voorhees with another character, Whitney Miller. Oh, shit. From another, Friday, from the another Friday the 13th film. Damn. Okay, you want me to to read this Shut Up and Dance with me, Vic? I think that one's the, the winner. That one's the winner, I think okay. that one's going to be the gold. Okay. <clears throat> crack, per- pure crack. With a <laughs> bit of seriousness thrown in towards the end. Of where Tina Shepard manages to convince Jason Voorhees to dance with her. Notes! I was born on Valentine's Day, and I decided to do this. What? Hold on, wait. She was born on Valentine's Day and she decided to write that's this That's her thing. note? Yes, that's her note about how why she wrote this thing. No, but was it published on Valentine's Day? It was published the day after Valentine's Day. Okay, so she did this. This was her birthday gift to herself, is what she said. This is her Valentine's Day gift to herself. She's like, I'm going to get romantic. Yeah. And I'm going to do something I love. <laughs> Make Tina and Jason dance. Okay. Beautiful. Let's start. Whirling colors greeted the dancing duo in the unkempt, broken remains of the mess hall, with music blasting and the leftover sound equipment and stereos from the last group of victims that came the previous summer. (laughs) The night's silver moon peered into the few undamaged windows and spilled her silver glow onto the floor. The winds carrying the lyrics of the singer's voice into the night air as the stars twinkled in amusement, scattered around and curiously pestered the silver giant of what she saw inside the old building. Okay. A most odd, unusual couple, she said unto them. She, oh, the moon is talking to the stars, She guys. said unto them. Continuing to She's watch epic. the two spinning figures stumbling awkwardly, stumbling and awkwardly dancing within the mess hall. If the moon had a voice, she would be giggling at the sight of the lake's fearsome undead child bent over stumbling after the pale blonde girl gripping his arms and trying to encourage him to dance with her more. Dark green eyes staring at her in wide-eyed wonder behind the white mask. He got the mask back, admiring the strength she had in her arms to tug at him sharply and pulled him close, her chest bumping into him. Not for the first time that night, he wondered how on earth she managed to get him to dance with her. So, okay, I want to stop. It, what's amazing to me is that I feel like in these movies, Jason Voorhees has literally one thought in his head, which is stab, 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 stab. I always love in fan fiction how you can take a character with, like, the war- least amount of characterization in something and turn it into, like, all of this. He was this the poet. Is, he <laughs> is a it. poet. Um... Okay. He remembered he found Tina poking through the sound equipment and colorful lights curiously, testing if it still worked or not, and squealed when it did. She squealed? Okay. Then... Yeah, that's the girl we saw in that movie. Yeah. Totally squealing. Then she was blasting music and dancing by her lonesome, swaying her hips, <laughs> stepping up on a few stable tables. Stable tables! <laughs> and spun around with her pale hair flying up. A laugh bubbling out of her mouth as she jumped down and continued to dance, uncaring if he was watching her or not. Jason wouldn't say it, but he was looking at her. <laughs> but he can't say it! He has them. To... Okay, whatever. That's the meta. That's the genius. That's the beauty. <laughs> not that he would ever dare admit it. What is even going on that he's just... <laughs> Never mind. It's gotta be unrequited. <laughs> Jason's gotta live unrequited. Hold on. It was the brightness in her crystal blue eyes and the curl smile on her lips that really took his notice. It didn't matter that the way her hips would move caused his eyes to wander, nor did her Whoa. bare skin revealed by her skirt and shirt made his breath hitch considerably. Hitch? Hitch. <sighs> it like It's stuck in his throat. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> he had seen plenty of girls' bodies. Yeah, as he stabbed them. But none like this. None of them did anything for him. She shouldn't be any different. And yet, she, she is. Was. She is, damn it. 
present it's tense. in present tense. Shaking his head sharply, banishing the thoughts with a scowl. Jason turned to leave the insufferable girl he found himself stuck with. Why is she stuck there? What is the narrative that she's in this weird camp crystal lake with him? Anyway, striding towards the open door, he stopped when they closed in his face, and Tina's voice spoke behind him with a question that made him freeze in silent wonder. Whoa. Hey, why don't you come dance with me? That's my Tina voice. <laughs> dance with her? Was she serious? What would my Jason voice be? <laughs> Not deigning her with any response. He tried the door and growled when it refused to budge for him. Looks like breaking it down with his body was an option right now. He was just recovering from feeling sore because of a certain telekinetic girl beating his ass with a giant tree. <laughs> okay, hold on. In parentheses, one of these days, I don't understand. This paragraph is, yeah, the structure. A small, soft hand slipped its way up the undead man's forearm and caused him to stiffen. Gently, though firmly, the girl tugged at it in an attempt to get the undead murderer to turn around to face her. Come on, just one dance. An unseen smile tugged in her voice. Gritting his teeth, he whirled around. Fist raised up to hit her. Oh, romance. When she grabbed his hand and pulled at him towards the center of the room. It's almost like she's saying he's like Frankenstein and that he wants to love, but he doesn't know how. So he's like, must beat. Oh, no. Dance. Smash. Smash <laughs> with my penis. You um, only do break dance. <laughs> He grunted, fist falling, and felt himself dragged away by the familiar, invisible force always present around this girl. He cursed it, cursed it to the depths of hell and hell. <laughs> Tina didn't know why she wanted to get Jason to dance with her. She knew what he was, all the horrible things he'd done, and the danger he presented to her should she ever let her guard down, and also the fact that he stabbed her mom in the stomach. But for whatever... I added that line. But for whatever <laughs> reason... Perhaps as some human need to let loose and have fun for just one night. She thought, to hell with it. She capitalizes hell. To hell with it, yeah, because it's, it's, it's funny. Jason glanced back, wondering if he could slip away before she noticed. Yes, wondering if his seven-foot-tall, 300-pound body could slip away before she noticed. And make a quick getaway. The thought of killing her doesn't cross his mind. Oh, shit. However, it must be love. before he could get far into his plan of escape, Jason felt them come to a stop, and she let go of his hand. Tina, facing him, hesitantly stepped close to him. Suddenly, she was no longer as eager or as confident a few minutes ago. Intriguingly enough, there was an air of shyness around her now. This caused him to blink and tilt his head in confusion. Down like her. Dog. I love it. What had changed? Surely something as simple as dancing couldn't have had this effect on her when she was spinning and jumping about by herself a few minutes ago. Then he felt an odd feeling of embarrassment rush forward when she took one of his into her own. One of his? One of his what? Gripping his tattered shirt and peered up into the mask he wore, an odd sensation in his chest came when she looked at him. If Jason still had a beating heart... <laughs> and breath in his lungs, he would find it difficult to breathe as the red vital organ sputtered in pounding beats mm -hmm. against the man's chest. He closed his eyes, refusing to look at her anymore, and started to pull away. She didn't let him. Jason, her voice caught him, green eyes snapping open to meet her firm gaze. He has green eyes. Her other hand grabbing into onto his arm, he shook his head, unsure of what he was saying, no to, but froze when she came impossibly close to him, the closest anyone has ever been, without getting stabbed. There was no invisible force holding him. I, I added that line. There was no invisible force holding him in place. So he wondered why he was rooted to the spot like this, letting her press her soft, small body against his and shiver by what he could see in her Sizemic. eyes. Yeah, oh, total size kink. A possible outcome, a what-if world, 
where if they had been anyone else, this moment will be a significant change in both their would-be lives. It was something he saw many times with couples he came across over the years! <laughs> in parentheses, before he murdered them. Um, when I want that thing, you guys. <laughs> When one held the other in the presence of something possible, something that could have been or would have happened, had they not been at the wrong place at the wrong time, it's obviously their fault, hung over their heads and pressed down on them. Jason never knew what it was, only that it distracted them and made him unseen and unheard to whatever fantasy he assumed to be victims made up in their minds. For the first time, Jason finally understood what it was those couples saw in each other, saw in future days that never came to be. It frightened him to see it in her, but it also thrilled him in the best ways possible when she took him back to the floor and said, Don't stand there. Dance with me. He didn't know how it happened. The girl dancing in his arms and guiding him around the mess hall with the music playing around them. The girl, no, Tina. Her name was Tina. Spun around under his arm and laughed a carefree sound. Ah! Showing him the steps while he followed her lead. Soon, Tina played a game of keep away with him. They unexpectedly pecking the side of his mask. Ew! It's full of gunk and jogged away out of his... She jogged away? She's like... <laughs> to the running man. <laughs> Jason, of course, was not going to stand for that and playfully chased after the small body. The small body? I'm just imagining, like, the Eurythmics playing. Everybody! <laughs> 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 Come on, Jason! Oh my god! Reaching out to grab her every so often, Jason felt soft yellow hair pass over the knuckles of his hand. Yes, he could literally feel that on his bony knuckles because he has no flesh. <sighs> and once brushed over the soft, warm flesh of her shoulder... He was having fun, not at the expense of others. Something that struck the man during his chase and caused a bout of amusement to race over him. A sound made its way out of his throat, and Tina stared at him in surprised wonder. This gave him the opportunity to sweep her up in his arms and spin her around, the sound infectious and coming from her too as they lost balance and fell. Oh shit, it's one of those... Tina fell on top of him, giggling, <laughs> and lifted her head up to look at him. He craned his down to do the same, the unfamiliar sound still escaping him. Laughter. <laughs> the sound made from him <laughs> was laughter. <laughs> placing <laughs> her head... <laughs> Wouldn't it be more girly, like... <laughs> no, no, it's a beautiful, princely laugh. <laughs> <laughs> Almost done. Placing her hands on his chest... Tina pushed herself to get off of him, intent on continuing their dance, when she felt a large hand land on her side. She stopped, staring. He met her stare right on back, reaching out with the other to grip her waist, the man's full attention fixed on hers. Jason? Tina licked her pink lips, recalling the last time they were so close like this. Uh, the murder time, I guess? Abruptly, he jerked away, dropping his hands away from her and pushed the girl off. She landed roughly on the floor, letting out a sound. Hey! As Jason, as he picked himself up and moved away. Jace! Tina was stunned, confused, and bewildered. All of those things. Silently, she watched him quickly stalk off towards the door and left the building, leaving her to slowly stand up alone in the room, the music still blaring, lights flashing, and a girl significantly alone on the dance floor. Whatever moment they were having, it was over now. She should have ended it with... I'm never gonna dance she again. She should have ended it with a girl significantly alone on the dance floor. This was this 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 line was unnecessary. Anyway, let's look at these Guilty comments. Guilty feet have got no rhythm, <laughs> though it's easy. Man, that okay. account deleted said, man, that was genuinely cute. Thanks. Account deleted is the only person reading her... Well, no, that's not true. She has ten kudos. Which means ten people have... I'm going to leave her some kudos. Throw this girl kudos right here. Kudos. Tell her that we just read this shit on my podcast. I just read this shit on my podcast. This shit is the Ben. He's the good stuff. Wait, should I? I guess, yeah. Well, we're going to post it. Yeah. No, wait till then. Uh, okay. 
Yo. Is it so, okay to read your story on our podcast? Are we going to get in legal trouble? No, because it's like open public work, mm-hmm. right? Yo, this is Friday the 13th Part 7 fan fiction. Yeah, you're right. How many Friday the 13th Part 7 fan fiction lawyers <laughs> exist? I feel bad. Should we, like, tell her? Tell her what? Why not? It's the internet. Yeah, you're right. Oh, yeah. We are the Vundacast. This has been the At Midnight Hounds. Rusty Duke, Zena Morty, asleep. They have slept so hard. This day is too rainy. They're like, we just need to be unconscious for this rainy day. You might hear the sound of the rain dripping in the background throughout this podcast as it pours ever onward outside. Uh, you can tweet us at Vundablog or at Vundacast. You can find us on Instagram at Vundablog or at Midnight Hounds. Check us out. Search us on Facebook, Vundablog.com, for updates vis a vis that manner. This is not a bad. Um, I am Steven Danielle. Any last words for the children? Uh, no, I really don't. Just, uh, when you're writing your Jason Voorhees Tina Shepard fan fiction. Get advice from Zombie Girl 197. She's pretty bad. She's the expert. I think she should write the next Jason movie. I agree. Because if you did Jason rom-com, that's the Friday the 13th movie we haven't seen. This Friday the 13th, Jason's got a date with love. I don't know, Michael. I don't know if she's going to like me. I lied in my profile pictures. Boom. I said I was 16. What, what, what? Guess what? It's time for podcast generic court station. It is I, your host, Steven, and I have the host of the DCFU, Mr. J. Hi, Mr. J. here on the podcast. What's up, Mr. J? What is up? What's up? So uh, basically, since Chris Hardwick, Mr. J, got, you know, Got his wig pardon. Him just going silent, I guess. What he kind of advertisement have, is this? He used, to, no, <laughs> he used to have a thing on his show that he called the community cork board, right? What does that mean? Where people could write in and say things that they were doing and wanted to promote and stuff. Doing. And then he could promote them on his podcast. So I have invented the generic podcast cork station, and I'm putting all my hats on guys to check out. So the first shout out on the court station is somebody that me and Danny met at um, Outcon. It's um, a guy named Justin who is running a charity down here called Smash Miami. Um, you can visit their website smash.miami uh, is the URL. Let's go to www. He runs monthly events um, to promote his uh, gay uh, charity. Uh, he has a karaoke every Monday um, at, uh, let's see, uh, let's see, this is my first time doing this, so I'm very poor. He has a karaoke? So basically, this the purpose of a, he is just a monthly gathering. Every first Monday, uh, there's going to be shade thrown, $10 drinks. All the details are at Smash.Miami, where you can find out. Uh, for $10, you get in, you get a free drink, you support a charity, and you get to meet a whole bunch of cool people. you got to go to Smash.Miami to check it out. And basically, he is helping... LGBTQ people find affordable housing in the Miami area. Teens, people who are um, teenagers, sometimes um, exploited or not. Really, here's the letter that he sent us. My name is Willard J. Baker, and here's my story. I grew up in a family that was solely religious. Everyone was living according to the Bible. My parents were solely blinded by this. They were too busy. Trying to save the world, they forgot about their own kids. It is stated in the Bible that charity begins at home. However, I strongly believe that my parents missed that Sunday school lesson. Imagine sleeping every night wondering if you'll find roaches beneath the sheets. 
What would you do if you had to check the toilet for rats before use? How frequently would you bathe if your tub had enough mold to rot the surface? Where would you go if every time it rained you feared your ceiling would cause would, would cave and then decay? Where would you find the will to live to keep moving on in life? If you if all you knew was drugs and prostitution and homelessness. These are not the conditions of a developing country, but the conditions the majority of our fellow LGBTQ brethren face every day because of negligent landlords and slash or parents who believe that religion is a great cause to turn their backs on their kids because of their sexual preference. In response to these affected residents, um, they began to organize in March of 2014 to form the struggle for Miami's affordable, sustainable housing, SMASH. SM. Uh, this 501c3 was founded as an initiative to end displacement in Miami, addressing slumlords and the economic factors that are symptomatic of Miami's affordable housing crisis. The grassroots organization SMAS is co led by residents from inner city neighborhoods, focusing on raising awareness of housing issues through community workshops, forming partnerships and government officials, and most importantly, empowering the voices of affected residents. Doesn't this sound like a super heroic task, Mr. J? He has a karaoke? Okay. So, second thing we want to tell you guys to check out, on Kickstarter now, for the next few days, there is a documentary called Clean Hands that you guys should check out. Um, this director has directed uh, another documentary before called Sunshine Hotel about uh, New York City um, a brewery before it closed. Uh, this documentary has been filmed for the last seven years and tells this remarkable true life story about extreme poverty in the third world set against family dreams and innocence. So basically in uh, Nicaragua, there's a trash dump called La Chuleca that is basically like the worst place in the world. Like it's exactly like Thor Ragnarok. It's like Sakaar. It's just a That's garbage horrible. planet there. And these poor people live in this garbage and they scavenge this garbage to survive and sell. And uh, a, a uh, an entrepreneur, no, a uh, philanthropist came and as this guy was in his documentary, he said, these, this, this family, they have four children. Their four children should not be living in this trash dump. I will give them a house and I will give them land if they promise to get their kids to school. And this is that seven year story of the kids growing up, learning how to live not in a trash dump. Um, it's a harrowing tale. The visuals are just insane. It looks so sci-fi that you cannot believe that this is just today in the modern day 21st century. So you guys should work should support Michael Dominic's film, Clean Hands. It is a worthy cause here on Kickstarter to check out. The other thing you should check out, a little more lighthearted now, friend of the Linda cast, Lisa Hammer and Levi Wilson. Their film, The Sisters Plots, is up currently on uh, Amazon Prime. You can watch it right now for free. Plum, who was on The Brady Bunch, is in the show, The Sisters Plots. You can watch it. Sure, it can happen. Um, Mr. J, are you excited? Yes. And it's the best commercial So ever. excited. Mr. J, professional ad man. Watch out. So check out Lisa Hammer's film. Also, make sure to check out the El Rey Network. Watch Lucha Underground. Keep an eye out for... Rebel Without a Crew, the series, coming soon. Um, and, last bit, you should go over to Patreon. You should support Nicholas Malara on Patreon. You should promote, you should support Flush Studios, who's making a dope horror film called Grey Woods and Plot. Help them out on Patreon, too. And I'm going to have a page on the podcast where you can see all the stuff that you should is mentioned on this ad on the top tabs you're going to see people you should support page people you should support piss it's going to say p-y-s-s people you should support <laughs> no that's puss what people, people you yeah, should support you puss. Start with a y. 
What? U starts with a Y. No, U. U starts with a U. You starts with a U. Yeah. The puss face. <laughs> the no, puss face. I think piss is like the closest. Why would it be piss? Is um, with a Y? Okay, it'll just be support page. No, it'll be pussy. <laughs> <laughs> People, you should support. Why? <laughs> hey, all these worthy causes. And I just want to talk about PP. <laughs> Yay! Wundercast? Give yeah. it up for Wundercast, man. What an adorable name. You're listening to the Wundercast. We're on express elevator to hell. Going down. Two. One. Mark. So what topics do we talk about on the Vindicast? We talk about whatever we like, but mostly we talk about pop culture. We talk about Star Wars. Mira, who's Snow White? She's supposed to be some kind of consultant. Apparently, she saw an alien once. <laughs> Whoopie fucking do. Movies we've seen. Don't lie. All we talk about is aliens. Oh, yeah, right. All we talk about is aliens. All we talk about is bringing things back to Star Wars. <laughs> All we ever do is bring things back to 1997. Don't fuck around. Yeah, this is right. You're sawing us out. Your face. Stop sawing us out, Steven. Stop telling the truth. Danielle, you are not alone. Neither are you listeners. Mondays at radiate.fm with the Vundercast. Chewing. We're home. The Vundercast, which is on Mondays at Radiate. Hey, Danielle. Yes. Co host of the Vundercast, co workers. Mm-hmm. How many nipples does Kylo Ren have? Well, only two, but they are glorious. And to find out how glorious they are, tune in Mondays, radiate.fm. Ray love all year long till episode 9 comes out and beyond. Check it out. I am the ultimate badass. Yes, right. State of the badass art. <laughs> you do not want to fuck with me. Hey, Radiate listeners, you should tune in to us on TuneIn. Because the podcast is also there. You should stitch yourself to us on Stitcher because we're down. And if you want to Google Play with us, our podcast is also on Google Play. But me, I, I just use iTunes to subscribe to my own podcast. Great. That's just fucking great, man. Now what the fuck are we supposed to do? We're some real pretty shit now, man. You finished. Game over, man. It's game over. What the fuck are we gonna do now? What are we gonna do?